The Grind, brought to you by Dakota Decoy, Righam Wright Waterfowl, Heavy Shot, Lucky Duck, Mud Buddy, XL Boats, Delta Waterfowl, and Wild Deer. Additional sponsorship provided by these fine companies. say about duck hunting. I, my goose hunting buddies give me a hard time because all I want to do is chase mallards. Hunting geese here, you, you're pretty much putting yourself on the X. So those geese are coming to that field. And duck's kind of a crazy creature. He's flying around out there. You got to convince him to come to where you want him to come. There's nothing better than watching a group of 25, 30 mallards break their necks looking for that call you're making at them. It's just, it just gives me the chills sitting here talking about it. I, I'm a, I'm a duckaholic, I guess. I love them. Stool. Go ahead. You know, it's like asking somebody, you know, what do you love about the pull of a fish on the end of a line? I mean, it's just, you, you're not taught to like that. It just, the first time you feel it, you realize it's awesome. That's a killer feeling. And so when you go out duck hunting, you're putting yourself into that environment where you're at a disadvantage and trying to outsmart and outfool and this waterfowl and, and call just right and put your decoys out right and you're in their element and it's, it's physically demanding. It's mentally demanding. It's, it just requires so much of us as humans to go into that situation and be successful. So the challenge um, is probably what you know brings me and attracts me to the sport. Yep. Yep. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had this like pretty <laughs> Yeah, I had a feeling. Is up, is up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, how much is that? Uh, no. What? Was that? I'm not here. <laughs> Who? I'm not here. Is that too much across right. I'm alright. I'm okay. No, I'm, I'm good. Fine. You're not getting me. I got powder burn hair. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go down there? Good job. I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot either. Yeah, it's just reloading. <laughs> I can see you saved that second duck. Man, I'm gonna show off oh. my first shot. That was awesome. That was good. Those, those ducks were shot. That, that was a turkey, like a turkey. That was all my calling. That was awesome. 
<laughs> All you're calling? <laughs> you were calling them. I wouldn't have called at the end. I think I could. Finished, Rewind that. <laughs> With the seemingly endless supply of waterfowl in the coastal Atlantic regions, early European settlers in America began hunting waterfowl with great passion. As more immigrants came to America in the late 18th and 19th centuries, the demand for more food was the birth of the market hunting era. The Extreme Series decoys from Dakota Decoy are the most realistic, dependable decoys on the market. From our mallards to our honkers, these decoys will give you years of trouble-free gunning. We pride ourselves in excellence to bring you the most durable decoys available. Once you make the switch to Dakotas, you'll never look back. Dakota Decoy, the migration stops here. Makers of Heavy Shot, the biggest development in waterfowl loads in a decade, Heavy Metal. Delivering 20% more lethal pellets on target than any conventional waterfowl load, with superior patterning and energy from Heavy Shot's patented technology. Available now and priced competitively with premium steel loads. More pellets, more pattern, more birds in your bag. Get the picture? Learn more at HeavyShot.com. What I love about duck hunting as opposed to goose hunting is just a variety of things. There's so many different scenarios and situations, ways that you can hunt them, different types of ducks that you can that you can hunt, ways that you can hunt. I mean, it's just it's the variety, it's the excitement, and the different venues that you and places that you can go to, to duck hunt. Nice! Nice! <laughs> I should have shot that other one, Sorry. That's all right. Sorry. That's my dock up? <laughs> no, yeah. Right. You're ready. That oh, one oh. sunk. Oh, no. You gonna shoot him again? I get it. You got him. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I got into waterfowl, and you, everyone starts off by hunting ducks. And then I really got into hunting geese, and then I, I started guiding, so I did that a lot. I hunted a lot of geese. And then now with the TV show, I really love getting back into hunting ducks and just the way they work, just the way they come in. <laughs> Wide open. I didn't want to have to, you know, show you how to shoot yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. I learned yesterday it was a humbling experience. Yeah, because you never miss. No. Except yesterday. Well, if we had a good editor, I'd never miss on camera. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, you suck. <laughs> I heard uh, John. I didn't either, John. <laughs> thank you, Jonathan. Yes, thank you. Thank goodness our camera guys are hunters. Mallards. Uh, I'm a mallard guy. Mallard purist, I guess you could say. Uh, water. I love hunting boats, out of boats. With the new mud motors, uh, you know, we can take our 
mud body motor and we can get into areas that we've never been able to get into. We used to watch ducks go into what we considered were natural refuges because you couldn't get at them. Uh, now we can get right in the middle of the refuge. Uh, it's just changed duck hunting. It allows the hunters to go places they've never been able to go. <laughs> Nice, nice work. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Zuko. Oh, he's sure. <sighs> he's Nice. Lost all the air in all of our bellies. Mm -hmm. Lunch time, boys. Only one. Denver, Zuko. Denver. Did you shoot twice? <laughs> I had it on my I know. arm. I mean, Justin got him. <laughs> okay. Let's talk a little bit about how to transition your dog from training to the field. A lot of guys ask me throughout the year um, why their dog isn't very good to start the season. The dogs coming from a professional trainer or coming from your training to the field is, are two completely different concepts. Uh, the dog is going to see things that he hasn't seen before and this is where experience comes into play. You can expect four to five hunts before your dog learns the game and, and it starts to be very successful in the field. A couple things that you can do to help ensure that your dog is going to move forward and make progress is one, use a tie down on your first few hunts. It'll create a safe environment, making sure that he doesn't break and hit a, a gunner uh, and cause an accident um, or break in general and create a bad habit. Another thing is keep a small group his first few times out. You don't want to get out there with six, seven, eight gunners and make it very chaotic for the dog. Uh, it becomes very confusing. Doesn't, he doesn't know, you know where the gunfire is coming from. It's, just, it's a very confusing environment for the new dog. Try to go out the first time uh, even with just you and one other person. You handling the dog and one of your buddies doing the shooting. This will make sure that the dog has a very successful introduction to the field. Lucky Ducks Premium Decoys. The only fully flocked spinning and flapping wing decoy. Decoys that are so attractive, birds everywhere are dying to get a closer look. Visit us at LuckyDuck.com for a complete line of products. We are the masters of deception. With over 30 years of combined product testing and manufacturing, Mud Buddy and XL bolts have set the bar that others try to reach. Unrelenting high-end performance in every bolt and motor that Mud Buddy and XL produces. XL bolts are built tough with meticulous attention to detail and Mud Buddy motors are engineered to withstand all the mud, log, and rock infested waters a waterfowler would ever navigate. We'll get you there and back. I got it too. <laughs> I got it too. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Alex. No problem. <laughs>
That's what friends are for. <laughs> right. I, I <laughs> Somebody let me shoot today. Hey, you shot you shot my bird, so I'm sure I shot Joe's. I didn't even shot Murphy's the bird. off the bush. That's the only because it got so low you couldn't keep see it. This so place right here was high oh, trees. Take it, Matthew. Yeah. That's what Matthew moved down here. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here. <laughs> Matthew, yeah. you got more shooting when you're next to me. I shot a lot more times. <laughs> I'm gonna he was dialed in back. on that one. You know, as the owner of Rig 'em Right and being in the waterfowl industry, just incredibly blessed to get to go to, you know, some of the most outstanding waterfowl destinations in the world. And um, it's very tough to narrow that down, whether it's timber, hunting mallards or fields or, you know, shooting redheads, canvas backs on big water out of layout boats. It's all a lot of fun and it's super, you know, hard for me to narrow that down. But if you twisted my arm, I uh, would probably say shooting mallards in the timber is is the best. I mean, it's so just up close, in your face, plus just being in the woods and shooting ducks is is really awesome. Yep. 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 <laughs> I didn't even pick a bird here, it's just all coming down. <laughs> didn't even shoot. Oh my. Oh my. That was good. Oh that my. Was, that was terrific. Here comes the rain. That was all fantastic. And the highball. That was all the highball. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Four went out, I highballed, 40 came in. Yep. Good job, Chad. <laughs> you wrecked it. Shake and bake. Put that highball. Get him in there. Get him in, Randy. Read it, read it, read it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> got, got a little rock on that. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that. Oh, that has got to look yeah. awesome. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Field hunting now has just become, I, when I first started it, I wasn't as familiar with it. It's not what we do back in Michigan. I mean, in Michigan, we got a lot of water, a lot of lakes. You know, that's how I grew up hunting. It was out in the swamp. Field hunting has become a, a, just a whole different level of duck hunting for me. I, I enjoy being able to draw the ducks in tight and, and just kill them right over the decoys. Just the way you can move your spread easier. I mean, it, you get camouflage. I mean, using the layout blinds, all those things just make field hunting the most appealing to me at this point in my life. Look at this one. Take this one. This one right here is boned up. Yep, yep, yep. Kill yep. Him. Oh, he died so hard. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> did you go. see him when, when <laughs> I hit that call? <laughs> did you see him when just oh, yeah. <laughs> he put the brakes on? He did. It's like, oh, hey, I like ducks her. don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you can't call ducks, but. Probably does it. Yep. It's a wrap. Yep. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. Nice work. It's a nice way to finish up. Yes, it is. A little short of a limit, but that will take. You work hard all week and deserve the best bang for your buck when investing in your waterfowl equipment. Our crew works hard at getting you all the best equipment at the best possible prices. At Rogers Sporting Goods, we know what works and buy right, and then pass the savings on to our customers. Check out all the hot deals at rogerssportinggoods.com.
What would happen if the world's most award-winning shotgun ammunition manufacturer decided to build the world's best choke tubes? They'd succeed. Introducing Heavy Shot's maximum performance choke tubes. Without a doubt, the finest field choke tubes ever designed. Heavy Shot, continuing to improve on the shooting experience. Find out more at heavyshot.com. <laughs> and I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. It was close. <laughs> Duke Denver. Uh, I mean, shoot, if you just told me I had to rattle off tips for duck hunting, I'm gonna tell you a lucky duck when you're in a field is essential. A jerk string when you're in the water is essential. The right ammo, patterning your gun. I mean, there's just so many things. I mean, just having the right gear is is critical when you're duck hunting. Nice shot. <laughs> Sorry. Beautiful. I had to do that. I had to do that. Sorry. Don't be mad at me. I'm moving a few of the gates. <laughs> <laughs> Denver, good boy! <laughs> we'd, we'd have 50 of those by now. So, we're, so we're going to start doing this now. I'm guessing that the, the seal has been broken. The seal's broken. Yeah. We're, you're going to get what you yeah. get on film. Yeah. We're killing it. You're up. <laughs> you know, everyone really focuses on scouting for geese. I mean, that's like part of it. Everyone talks about scouting, scouting for geese. And I, I, I see that. I'm, a lot of guys don't do that with ducks. I can't explain how important that is to go out and scout for ducks. It can make the difference between a, a bust hunt or a hunt that's phenomenal. It's take your time, scout, get out, walk out to wherever you're hunting, watch the ducks just like you would geese. <laughs> Edward, should we? Nice. Edward, Zuko. Yeah. Come on. Smash him. Good night. Oh! <laughs> Shot a little behind the first. Yeah, she that speed ball is really speedy. <laughs> it's speedy. It's speedy. Where's that duck at? Oh, he's in the weeds. He's in the weeds right there. He's in the backstroke. When, when we're hunting, chasing mallards, we, we, we'll put out a spread not of just mallard decoys. Um, we like also using some floating goose decoys. I mean, it's great visibility. T to be honest with you, we've almost reversed the way we would hunt ducks. Uh, we used to put out 150, 200 duck decoys and a dozen or two dozen goose decoys. Now we'll run a big spread of goose decoys with a smaller number of duck decoys. It just giving the ducks a different look than what they're going up and down and seeing from everybody else. Well, Go, lunch time. Good boy. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next week for more of the Grind Waterfowl TV. Check us out on the web at thegrindwaterfowl.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.